there is one more kind of kind of if we have seen this also you have now now we will see this nested if there is one more kind of thing uh, you will be studying along with this this is called as a switch this is also coming under decision control statement only we will see that also switch uh, that is related to if only we will see that nested if what is this nested if nested if nested if itself says you have a if statement well within an if statement so that is called this nested if okay we will see with the same example of age I am reading the age. Now you see here, if age greater than 60, greater than 60, I am now printing something. Else, this also we have seen. Alright. Now, If age is less than, uh, greater than 60, I am executing this. Else, it means you are less than 60, you are executing this. And you are closing this main function. Right? This is how the main uh, uh, total program looks like. When you write the program, for this age is uh, greater than 60, uh, see please, I am using uh, uh, again, Please enter your gender. Scan F percentage C ampersand G E N. So declare this integer this thing character G E N character G gender. If G E N equals if gen gender equals to may M, then you are printing print F. You are male senior citizen. Else print F. You are female senior citizen. Close this bracket. This is for if statement. Then you can have this else. What is this else indicate? Else indicates age less than 60. If age is greater than 60, this is executed. If age is less than 60, whatever, maybe teenager, adult, male, female, whatever it is. Now why it is called nested if? I have a if statement here. In this if statement, I am putting one more condition here. If well within this bracket, I have one more if statement. If this is condition is true, this will be executed. Else, this will be executed. Within this if statement, within this if statement, that is why it is called nested if. You have a if statement well within this if statement, then this is called nested if. Alright? 
as 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 the rule applies to if anywhere if it is there you can have multiple statements also if gender equals to m then you have multiple statements like this also here in if this for this if i have put a flower bracket 1 2 3 4 5 6 six lines of code are executed if this is true like this for this if also you can have any number of lines of code putting a flower bracket there since i am using only a single line of code I am not putting any flower bracket, otherwise you can have any flower bracket as, as like any other if, there is no change, it is yet another if, but only difference is this if is executed well within this if, yes, again when you, when you are putting here again, well within this line of code you can have put one more if condition, then it becomes nested if again, nested if for this, this itself is a nested if for this like this. You can have, for else also you can have lot of other statements, it goes on like this. So therefore, if is used along with if else, it is along used with if else if also, sometimes you will be having nested if also, alright. So this is how this, uh, you know, if statements are used. There is another way of using this when you have so many branches. There is a way of using this switch statement. First I will explain the switch, then I will go for this break and continue. Right? How does this works? See, basically, when you are writing lines of code, when you have so many if statements, it is getting confused. It is getting confused. If, nested if, else if, that if, that's where this is getting closed, where that if is getting, uh, you know, uh, beginning. So like this, when you are getting so much of confusion about if, else, if like this, you have a deterministic value which is known to you very clearly, you can as well use the switch statement. Switch, as the name itself says, you will be switching on based on the status, very clear. You can have a clear demarcation of multiples of values multiples of values okay if the value is known to you very clearly we'll use this okay let's take the same example but let us use the main state uh, main, uh, well, let's use the switch statement right okay int age then use of course you read through the read through the keyboard now age is being typed by the user it is known to you based on the value of the age you will be switching to one of these not all one of this either this or this or this or this or this all right okay now let us see how does this goes switch switch I am using based on age. Switch based on age value. How switch works goes like this. Case. You are telling you are telling all possible cases. You are mentioning all possible cases. Case with case greater than 60 or case with case 60 print f you are retired Case 61. Printf, you are senior citizen by since since one year. K 
के सिक्सटी टू प्रिंट एफ यू आर सीनियर सिटीजन बाई टू इयर्स केस फिफ्टी नाइन प्रिंट एफ यू विल बी रिटायरिंग यू विल बी रिटायरिंग इन वन इयर You can write all possible cases. What all you would like to have? Here also, you can have flower brackets. You can have series of statements. Series of statements executed for this case: K61, K62, K59, K16. You are ju just cross teenager. Case, uh, you know, case 25. You can give some other printing statement. any sort of possibilities you can have hundreds of cases over all these cases it is as good as actually if only but it is a systematic way of defining it if it is a case 60 what is that you can do case 61 what you can that do i have just mentioned different possibilities any sort of possibilities also can be mentioned greater than less than i am using this with the equal operator you can have with any sort of operators being mentioned over here so case switch case of course you have to use switch i mean based on which value you are switching you are switching based on the age for different cases case 60 this is a reserved word case is a reserved word case 60 so therefore you will be doing this you can have multiple statements also you can have if statement also well within that there is no restriction you can have if statement you can have if else if nested if anything any possibilities you can just use it like k61 you can just do like this so all these things can be concluded like this so this is basically when you have multiple branches and you don't want to get confused with the programming then you can go for this switch statement which is which is basically a very systematic way of branching you know it's a it's uh very streamlined way of you know branching it we have seen this which statement if we have seen if else we have seen if else if we have seen nested if you have seen switch switch we have seen now we will see break and continue break and continue are not only used for if they are used even for other statements like for do while all those things will be discussing in the next set of videos but however it is used it can be used in if statements also what are this whenever you give a break that breaks the condition that you have put right say for example here you are putting some condition you are putting some condition if this condition is true this will be executed else you will be executing this like this somewhere here if i use this break it will break this if statement it will not really do anything further it simply breaks and goes out it is like this actually when we were doing our phd in our mysore university we used to sit in the class for our phd course work whenever there is a visual that comes it indicates there is a strike stop all the things and go to strike stop the classes and go this is what called as a break when you have lines of code being executed and when you encounter this break you will be coming out of this bracket whichever the nearest bracket for you so this is co coming out of this of course as i told in the beginning this break will be used even in in your in your uh, for loops also do loops also we will be seeing them later but break is basically as the name itself says so that's why computer science is so easy for you break means break it is stopped nothing more will be executed nothing more will be executed so that's how we have to understand of course they are not so used so regularly breaks and continues are not uh, used so regularly right 
there is a, another uh, another uh, line of code called as a continue continue generally not at all useful for if it is useful only for for loops for if conditions this continue is of no use but however since it is there in along with this if statement i'll explain to you what is this continue in a, in case of continue whenever there is a continue as the name itself says actually please continue i mean the break means actually you are coming out of the flower bracket innermost flower bracket right whereas continue means as the name itself says it is continued this is useful only when for loops do loops are being used not with the if statements if statements if condition is whatever if there is a break you are coming out abruptly you are coming out no need of telling that actually please continue the reason is continue it is even when you don't mention it it is continued but this is useful in the for loop but try to understand continue means it is a way of telling you please continue like that since break and continue they are going together they have shown this in this part but however continue is not useful in if statements it is used only in the loops that you will be seeing it in the subsequent class but breaks are used whenever you are having this if statement if in if loop like this if you have this some 10 lines of code the fifth line is break it stops there itself and it comes out breaks it comes out like that okay let us take this case you have so many lines of code right so like that how we have written in the previous boards i am writing all lines of code but you can observe one interesting thing here i put a break here what will happen here the inner more bracket see int age it is declared it says break it breaks this main and it comes out these are not executed break is interrupting and stopping that and comes out of the nearest loop nearest flower bracket nearest flower bracket is only this main so it comes out like this so therefore you should also be very careful when you are using this break and continue of course continue is not a problem break you should be very very careful otherwise it simply breaks sometimes you need to break sometimes you got to you know break you will see with some examples so th in this today's class we have seen if else if if else if nested if break continue and switch we will see with some examples in the next class so therefore uh, you will understand this all this if, if uh, you know in a better way so thank you